No, you can't do that. It's not fair. Why am I the only one? No, you can't buy this. But all my friends have one. Children feel bitter and left out when they don't fit in with their friends. When limits are imposed that set them apart, the average child will beg, whine, and plead to turn the no into a yes. The interaction quickly escalates into a power struggle between the child and the parent or educator. Can we train kids to calmly accept no for an answer? How can we set boundaries for our children without breeding resentment? Parshas Nusso describes the details of a Nazir's commitment. A Nazir vows to abstain from wine and grape products. He allows his hair to grow without cutting it and refrains from coming in contact with a human corpse. On the surface, the basis for his strict lifestyle is to separate himself from worldly pleasures as a precautionary measure. At the same time, the Torah describes that the Nazir will be holy. His choices are not only about setting limits out of fear, his choices are an expression of his cherished higher status. This outlook is the key to setting limits without generating bitterness. Rather than approaching rules as a list of yeses and noes, we can educate children with an attitude of pride. We are unique and fortunate as Jews. We have standards that set us apart from the rest of the world. When children are proud of who they are and what they believe in, they can withstand the pressure of their environment. A higher standard of living with Jewish values can be introduced as we are fortunate to, as opposed to you have to. Try, we are special and so we don't, instead of you can't. Redefine your approach to the rules and watch the pushback fade away. Thank you.